Are you struggling to keep up with posting on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube? Trust me, I've been there. I think we've all been there at some point, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to plan your content using Notion. As a content creator and a social media manager, I manage my own accounts and my clients, so it can get really, really messy. But I have created a system that helps me stay consistent, organized, and stress-free. So if you're a content creator or a social media manager, or you're just starting off with Notion, this content planning system is going to help you stay on track and post like a pro. So let's dive in. Okay, let's start building your content planner in Notion. Here is my overview page. I have all of my content planners linked here. I have a little habit tracker. I have my monthly goals and then I'm able to see all the progress of all my content at a glance here. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to focus on only building a content planner. If you guys want me to do another video on how I did this overview page, let me know in the comments below. Okay, starting from scratch, let's build a new page. And we're going to name this content planner. It can also be a content calendar. This is really all up to you and how you want to call it. I just realized I didn't show you guys the content planner, so let's go through that real quick. Okay, so here on this side, I have my monthly goals and I want to start tracking my analytics and I also want to really actually follow my schedule. This is my favorite part. It's the Instagram feed inspiration and this is linked to Canva. I'll talk about how to do this. It's super easy and it's really, really cool. And then on this side here, I have a calendar view of things that I already posted, things that I have to post today, and anything that I have to post in the upcoming days. And down here is kind of where I track everything. It's my content bank slash pipeline, if you want to call it that. Basically, I go in at the start of every month and I just brain dump my content ideas into here. And then when I do my planning, I will come back in this list. I will choose a post date and then I will start planning everything else. Okay, back to creating the actual content plan. I always love to start with a table. So let's add a table. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see table view and you have a table. And you can add as many columns as you want, but these are the ones that I love to work with. We're going to keep name as name. Then we're going to create a new column with this multi-select tool. We're going to add another column and this one we're going to click the select option and name it type of content. Then another column and this one will be the date a post, sorry, post, oh, I can spell, post date. The next column we're going to add will be a multi-select column. And this one is going to be called platform. And then lastly, I just started adding this column. This one will be just a regular text column and we're gonna name it analytics. This is my way of keeping myself accountable. I have to check my analytics, something that I've been really struggling with, but I know is super important. I actually forgot a really important column and that's the status tracker. So we're going to pick select and we're going to name this status. Okay. Now I want to move around the column, so we're going to just drag status all the way to the front, name, pillar, I want post date to be next, I actually want type of content here, post date, platform, and analytics, okay, okay, this looks good to me, and let's just make these columns a little bit smaller so we can see everything, awesome, okay, now let's just start filling this in with some information so I can show you guys how this actually works. For the status column, we're going to have to put in actual status options. So let's start off with posted. Another status that I like to track is the creation slash idea stage. Also um, edited. 
filmed. I also like to track once it's in my drafts. Another thing that I just love to do is play with the color. So for me, posted is always green. Creation idea is always yellow. Filmed can be orange. Oh, sorry, I mean edited. Edited can be orange. Film can stay blue, and then drafts can be pink. These are the statuses that I like to track. Of course, feel free to add more or less as you need. Okay, so for this one, we are in the creation idea stage. Let's say I want to plan um, five content ideas for social media managers. I also want to post about um, Notion, Notion hacks. I also want to post about my YouTube beginner setup. Okay, so these are all in the creation idea stage. So my pillars will be different than your pillars, obviously. So these are mine. Mine are social media management, mine is running, um, lifestyle, and relationship. Okay, Notion Hacks is under social media. Okay, these are all under social media management. <laughs> type of content. So again, with this column, you have to add the type of content options. For me, that's a static post. Carousel post, long reel, short reel. Okay, let's say I want that to be a short reel, I want this to be a carousel post, and then I want this to be a long reel. Post date, I'm gonna post this on Monday, I'm gonna post this on Tuesday, and then this on Wednesday. Awesome platform again you have to add the platforms that you will be posting on for me that is tiktok instagram and shorts i have a whole separate content planner for just youtube long form content the setup is very very similar some things change here and there because it's youtube specific but overall it's the same okay and then my analytics i will just come back and fill that section in at the end of the month to see how it performed did it do well did it not do good should i recreate something like this that kind of stuff so now i want to see all of this on a calendar view so let's do that and this is super easy and the reason why i always start with a table first so we're going to add a calendar view calendar view right here and it's going to ask you to enter a database this is exactly why i always start off with making a table first and then the calendar so what we're going to do is we're going to link our table to the calendar that way whenever we update the table the calendar updates automatically so we're going to add our table and this is called content idea bank and it's my second one i guess i already have another one somewhere else but let's choose this one and it should auto populate and it's right here beautiful okay so i want to see more than just the title of my content idea so let's fix that up here we're going to go to layout let's go to properties i want to see the status I also want to see my pillars and I want to see the type of content so now I know that these next few content ideas are all in the creation idea stage they're all part of my social media management pillar and I have checked off a short reel a carousel post and a long reel for that week so I'm good to go okay but now I don't like this scrolly scroll thing so i'm just going to move this calendar view next to my content bank 
now I can see it side to side. However, once you start adding more ideas, this is going to grow and just keep going down. So that's the reason why I always shift this down here. And like I said before, I love adding an Instagram feed inspiration or an Instagram feed planner. So let's do that next. Okay, now we're going to set up the Instagram feed inspiration slash planner. I use it as inspo only. I just, I can't plan my feed, it's just too much. But if you guys wanna use this as a planner, then go for it. This is gonna be so easy. You're going to be like, why didn't I do this sooner? Okay, so like I said, you will need Canva open. So let's open up Canva. Okay, so I like to start off with a fresh new Canva document. I found that this dimension here, 587 pixels by 598 pixels is the best dimension that works for Canva, for my Canva template. So feel free to save this down somewhere. So let's start off with a fresh new page to show you how I set this up real quick. In elements, you're going to go to frames and click the square one. So basically what I build is just a rectangle. This is not to scale and I just know that I want three going across and then I also want three going down. Now this will only work if you just have one page. So I'm going to delete this page for now. Let's say you already did this and you already put in your pretty pictures. So now you're gonna go into share, embed, and you're going to copy the smart embed link. Now back in Notion, let's go back to the one that we're building. We're going to click add. We're going to find the embed option right here, embed. And we're going to paste our smart link, embed link. Ta-da! And there it is. Now you can adjust the height to make that black ugly background go away. The black background is fully gone. And now we can add a text to name this Instagram feed, whoops, feed planner. And again, I just wanna drag this to the top. I'm going to click Heading three, and I want this to be okay. So this looks good, but now I just want this over here like that. There we go. So now when I open up my content planner calendar, I'm able to see it at a calendar view. So I know next week I have these three things to post. I also can see my Instagram feed planner so I know in what direction I want to take my feed in and then down here I have my content idea bank that I can just keep brain dumping ideas into and it will just keep growing and keep going down without messing up this view up here. And there you have it, a complete system to plan and organize your TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever content you want to organize using Notion, there you have it. But now, remember that social media trends change so fast. So I always leave space for trending content and brand collaborations that just come up. Planning ahead gives you structure, but flexibility is key in the social media space. And yes, I'm in a different outfit because I had to record this part of the video the next day. Again, it's all part about being flexible, just as long as you stay consistent. So if you found this helpful or have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video. Peace!